couldn't be happier for her. Christina Aguilera will always be there for Britney Spears. The two singers have a long history together. They both appeared on the Mickey Mouse Club in 1993 and later went on to be megastars in the music industry in the early 2000s. On Friday, the Genie in a Bottle singer showed solidarity for her former co-star during an interview with The Enrique Santos Show. Your friend Brit Britney Spears, she's finally free. She's gone through a very difficult time. We've all seen that. Have you, have you spoken a lot to her? Have you given her any, any advice? Could you share any of that with us? I mean, I would love to. I would always be open to that. Um, it's a subject that I definitely want to be careful of because I'd never want to speak out of term about somebody that I have so much respect and admiration for. Um, but I'm so happy. I will just say, you know, what I do feel comfortable in saying, as I've said before, actually, and stated that I couldn't be happier for her. Every woman deserves uh, to feel empowered and to own that for themselves, however they see fit. So, yes. The 41-year-old Grammy winner then went on to talk about growing up in the industry. And yes, growing up in this business can be freaking crazy. And so, uh, you know, if anybody gets that and understands what that means at that time coming up, you know, it definitely would be her and I. So I will always be here to reach out to whatever. What I love, you know, being able to connect like that with with other women as we did Tommy's muchachas. It's it's very important now more than ever now that we do have the ability to connect. Um, that, that that happens and that we always feel unified. Christina's latest comments come two months after her team shut down a reporter's question about Britney's conservatorship during a red carpet. Britney, is, have you had any communication? Have you guys had any communication? No, we're not doing that celebrate? tonight. I'm sorry. No, Thank you. Yeah. Bye. But I'm happy for her. Yes. Britney took issue with the situation and shared her thoughts about it in an Instagram story at the time, writing, quote, I love and adore everyone who supported me. But refusing to speak when you know the truth is equivalent to a lie. 13 years being in a corrupt, abusive system, yet why is it such a hard topic for people to talk about? I'm the one who went through it all. All the supporters who spoke up and supported me, thank you. Yes, I do matter. The powerhouse vocalist has publicly shared support for Britney in the past. Back in June, Christina posted a throwback photo of her and Britney in their child stardom days and let the mom of two know that she's there for her, writing, quote, these past few days, I've been thinking about Brittany and everything she is going through. It is unacceptable that any woman or human wanting to be in control of their own destiny might not be allowed to live life as they wish. To be silenced, ignored, bullied, or denied support by those close to you is the most depleting, devastating, and demeaning thing imaginable. The harmful mental and emotional damage this can take on a human spirit is nothing to be taken lightly. Every woman must have the right to her own body, her own reproductive system, her own privacy, her own space, her own healing, and her own happiness. Access Hollywood spoke to Britney's fiance, Sam Ashgari, at the House of Gucci premiere in November, where he talked about the outpouring of love his bride-to-be received after she was granted freedom from her long-standing legal saga. I mean, it's surreal. It's, it's, you know, the whole world is supporting and loving, and that's what it's going to take in that situation. So I'm just happy and... It, you know, just living my life, like I said. Um, will we see uh, your date this evening? Will she be here tonight? Uh, no, we're meeting for dinner later, so yeah. Exactly. What are we having? Look, I'm like, sushi? What are we doing tonight? Oh, I'm eating everything. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I can't wait for that. <laughs> um, if you could describe everything right now, it is 6, 10 p.m., November the 18th. In your life, your love's life, everything that's happening, what would you describe that as this very moment? Oh, I'm living, we're living our life by the minute and by the second. We're enjoying it, and it's just... It's a blessing. Yeah. Keep smiling. Congratulations on everything. Thank you so much.